Hello and welcome to Let's Play Dear Esther, featuring me, your host, Durman. So this is going to be a quasi, semi, not particularly blind playthrough of this game. Dear Esther, the morning after I was washed ashore, salt in my ears, sand in my mouth, and the waves always at my ankles, I felt as though everything had conspired to this one last shipwreck. You know, I, I don't really mind having water, salt in my ears. Stones in my belly makes and everything my sound like the ocean. Threatening to drag me under to where only the most listless of creatures swim. Um. Okay, I guess if you call angler fish listless, then that I guess would be true. Now, when I say that this is a semi-quasi, not particularly blind playthrough, this game supposedly has non-linear elements, so each time you play it, it's slightly different. We're going to test to see how much that theory holds true. In this particular case, what the guy said when I started playing was different than it was last time. So I'm going to see if there are any environmental details that are different. Now, if you ask me, this was not the best way to start off a game. Because this tells me, uh-oh, this game's going to be creepy. This game isn't creepy at all. Did they flush? Uh, 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 uh. Ah! That, that's horrible. Who would do that? Uh, some people have no respect. I mean, there's a little there's a little bar right there. Just hit the bar. What's this? Can sweetness and honestly... Honesty, find happiness together in a yogurt? Yes, it can. Yogurt is the best thing ever made. In fact, there you go. This would be the molecular formula of yogurt. Simple, beautiful, clearly one of the masterworks of the universe. Too bad there isn't any paint left. I'd totally take it with me. Sink. Terribly backed up. Whoa! Did my head just poop a bird? I think that's the case. Here's more of that blue paint. What's this stuff made out of anyway? Glowy blue, pl blue paint, it's probably made out of Avatar blood. Dum -dum. You know, this is a terrible safety hazard. They really need to keep the upkeep on these railings up on this deserted island. <sighs> well, at least that paint can's closed. But I can't pick it up. How will we get around this? I know. Shimmy. 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 There we go. la -ti da Donnelly reported the legend of the hermit, a holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. He could have just, you know, started playing have World of Warcraft if he wanted to be solitary for Perhaps the rest of now his life. all that haunts the ocean is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side and the cliff opened up to provide him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. The shepherds left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claimed to have seen him. I have visited the cave and I have left my gifts, but like them, I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. But they never actually say whether or not he picked up the gifts. See, it's my theory that all they were leaving him were these paint cans, and the woodland creatures just knocked him over. You know, dragged him around. Well, it's not a very good theory, but I'm going to stick to it. No, shimmying must not fail. Oh no! Okay, I'm okay. Slightly fractured legs. Uh, slightly concussed. But I'm okay. I walk very gingerly. 
Note the lack of footprints. Must be some type of ninja. Who die. Ah! Jeez, ocean wind. Calm down. Now the moody music. There was kicks once in. talk of a wind farm out here. And then this from wind the bag kicks in. Tolerance of the masses. The sea, they said, is too rough for the turbines to stand. They clearly never came here to experience the becalming for themselves. Personally, I would have supported it. Turbines would be a fitting contemporary refuge for a hermit. The revolution and the permanence. Well. Maybe uh, Simba will be able to help out. Let's see. Hey, a Sandy Doodle. Hello, Sandy Doodle. See, I, I had a crush on Victoria Doodle for years. That would be Sandy's older sister. But, uh,. You know, I left a love letter in her locker, and then she came up to me the next day and slapped me. It was very embarrassing. Dear Esther, I found myself to be as featureless as this ocean. That's probably Shut why she slapped me. Occupied as this bay, a listless wreck without identification. My rocks are these bones, and a careful fence to keep the precipice at bay. Shot through me caves. My forehead a mount. This aerial will transmit into me so. All overexposed, the nervous system, where Donnelly's boots and yours and mine still trample. I will carry a torch for you. I will leave it at the foot of my headstone. You will need it for the tunnels that carry me under. By torch, does he mean flashlight or actual torch? He's British, so I'm confused. And apparently this little rock is pooping car doors. But then again, it's a rock. I mean, what else does it have to do, honestly? Now, another thing this game needs would be a sprint button. But no, it has to be moody and peaceful. <sighs> Artistic jerks. I should kick over their sand lines. And of course now the backtracking since I had to go and check stuff out. Ooh, some delicious seaweed. Hmm. I think this stairway could use some maintenance as well. At least the railing here is nice and solid if a bit low. Hello, 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 hello. You know, it would also be very nice if I had a, uh, a volleyball named Wilson to keep me company. It'd make the bleak atmosphere a little more fun and festive. Reading Donnelly by the weak afternoon sunlight. He landed on the south side of the island, followed the path to the bay and climbed the mount. He did not find the caves, and he did not chart the north side. I think this is why his understanding of the island is flawed, incomplete. He stood on the mount and only wondered momentarily how to descend. But then, he didn't have my reasons. So wait, you're telling me that this guy had an incomplete view? of the island because he didn't see the entire island? That makes no sense, sir. I think you should scribble out that letter to Esther and write a new one that makes when sense. someone had died or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice. See, I'd give up hope if I had such a stupid letter sent to me. Exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and notice and aid, or impose a cordon of protection. And wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths 
died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. You know, including what's down there and what's up here, the number of rock boners in this game is getting disturbingly high. They were God-fearing people, those shepherds. There was no love in the relationship. Donnelly tells me that they had one Bible that was passed around in strict rotation. It was stolen by a visiting monk in 1776, two years before the island was abandoned altogether. Oh, monks, always stealing Bibles. In I wonder, did they assign chapter and verse to the stones and grasses, marking the geography with a superimposed significance that they could actually walk the Bible and inhabit its contradiction. Yeah, it could be. Now you may be noticing some frame rate skips and whatnot. I have a sneaking suspicion that Fraps doesn't play very nicely with Esther. Apparently she just has to have her personal space and her personal time. Ah, uh, she's like that. That Esther. Dear Esther, I met Paul. Atreides? I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. Ow, my ankle! We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiraled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. So, like a uh, chain-link fence made entirely out of jellyfish? That kind of boundary of life? I threw my arms wide and the cliff opened out before me, making this rough home. I transferred Whoa. my belongings from the bothy on the mount and tried to live here instead. It was cold at night and the sea lapped at the entrance at high tide. To climb the peak, I must first venture even deeper into the veins of the island, where the signals are blocked altogether. Only then will I understand them, when I stand on the summit and they flow into me, uncorrupted. Well, it would appear to me that this cave has been infested by... flow. Not Esther. And there it is, the delicious, delicious yogurty. Code. Now, it would be nice if some of these buckets contained some hydrogen and carbon and oxygen so I can you know, mix them together and have some yogurt. That'd be really good right now. Ah, yogurt. What can you not solve? Ooh! Fishies. And bones. And toast! pre-slathered with delicious green mold and a tub of glowy blue yogurt with rocks at the bottom. Or is that that? Blood paint again. Okay, is it made out of avatars or maybe ground up asari? Maybe smurfs. I'm not sure. Or maybe it's nuka-cola. Ooh. Hmm. This cave is totally stoned, man. Well, you'd hear the stones tumbling, I think. Well, that got me pretty much nowhere. Yun dun da dun dun. Well, as this listful music comes into play, and this, uh, stream opens up before me. I'm going to call this good for part one of this Let's Play. So far, only a little bit has changed in the audio track, but we shall see what happens next.